<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back again to the channel. Cooking with Jonathan. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so today we will have a nice Puerto Rican dish. It's called mollejita en escabeche, with chicken gizzards, okay, with the, with the green bananas. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Okay? Yo le voy a enseñar a ustedes cómo se hace esta mollejita. And it's super easy. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is boil some water. Boil water here. And boil water here. Two big pots. Okay? Now, all right, so what you want to do with the bananas, I'm going to show you. You're going to cut here. You're going to cut here. You're gonna do a line, and you're gonna do another line. Put it aside. And basically, that's what you're gonna do on all. Cut here, cut the ends, okay? Do a line, do a line, and put it aside. And that's what you're gonna do. This is what you're gonna do on all of them, okay? So basically, super easy. Cut the edge. Do a line, do another line, put it here. And you keep going, going, going. Okay, so they're all done. They cut, they cut in here, they cut there, and the edges, and we'll do a line, okay? So the easy way to do this is you're gonna put them just like this inside the pot. Let it wait until it's boiling. So what I find out is um, that uh, it's easier this way. It takes it's time consuming. Some people like to peel them and put them in there. I find out that doing like this is way faster and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And once the water is boiling, um, you put these inside the boiling water, right? Inside the pot. And they're gonna get black. Once they get black, completely black, you wait about, I want to say about five minutes after they get black, they're ready. You can take them out. Okay, so, and I'm going to show you the process, how it looks after five minutes. And I'm going to record um, for you guys to see what's the process. It's super easy. And I find this, this way is super easy. It's just super easy to do. So, we're going to wait for this water to start boiling. We wait for that water to start boiling. We're going to do and clean the chicken gizzards because sometimes... They are, um, they got a little skin that we're gonna take off, all right? So let's begin doing that. All right, so what I got here, I got my cutting board. I got something to put my uh, chicken gizzards. All right, so as you can see, okay, you see this, this is like a paper, you see this? Look at that skin. That yellow stuff, that's what you don't want, you see? It's like a skin, right? So what I do, I cut it like this, and if the chicken gizzard is big, I just cut it again in half, and that's it. And I'll keep doing the same thing, same process. Like sometimes it doesn't have it, and I cut it in half. Just like that. See? Like that. And just keep cutting it. Not all of them has it. Not all of them has it, you see? This one doesn't have it, this one doesn't have it. So sometimes you're gonna find these, and these you don't want. And if they big, just cut them in half, just like that. See, I like to cut mines in pieces, just like that, in half. And that's what you're gonna do on everything, on the whole package. See, they got three, just cut them in half, cut them in half, cut them in half. That's what you wanna see. Small tiny piece, not so small, but just in half. And we're done here. So in the pot of the banana, I'm going to put some bay leaves. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two bay leaves in there. And I'm gonna put three bay leaves inside the one with the chicken gizzards. Vinegar. In the chicken gizzard, I don't measure it, I just add about half a cup. 
No salt. I don't add salt. Okay? Vinegar. Bay leaves. A little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil here. That's it. Just a spray. That's it. A squirt. That's it. Okay? So, these are already boiling. I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to put a timer for 45 minutes. And I'm going to wait for this to start boiling. And I'm going to put the green plantains. I'm going to put the green bananas in there. All right, so this is boiling. It's, I got 39 minutes on the clock. 45 minutes, remember? Until it gets nice and tender. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm so happy that we're doing this. Um, again, if you like food, and uh, if you're looking for a good channel, and if you happen to be that you're clicking and you watch my channel, thank you. Um, and if you like it, and you enjoy what you see, and you wanna learn how to do Spanish dishes or anything, uh, click in that button that says subscribe, and you will not miss a video because I've been posting video every week. I'm gonna try to post a new video on food, okay? So, and this is not just like a regular channel of cooking because I don't wanna do it like a regular channel cooking um, just because it's boring and I don't think I, I, wanna, I wanna do that. I, it just, it's just too boring to have a regular channel, you know, a cooking channel. I just wanna have some action on my channel. So, thank you again for uh, subscribing. Thank you again for watching, and uh, today we're doing the moñejitas, so I'm happy to do moñejitas because this is a Puerto Rican tradition that we do um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthday, July 4th, New Year's, any occasion, any party, you Puerto Ricans, you know, we like to do the moñejitas and the cabeche, and then you know the pernil and the arroz con gandule. So, this is a very good tradition for Puerto Ricans and only for Puerto Ricans, but Spanish people, Latin American people like this stuff too. So this is a good way to learn it. And I'll give you step-by-step -step details and how to do it. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Keep watching. So you see how it, get, it gets a little bit black in there? It's getting black. Once it hits boiling, once everything is black, then wait five minutes and it should be done. You see how black it's getting? That's what you want. Okay, so this is the part that I was saying, how they get black, and you see the water is getting all black. So now, uh, what I do is once they get like this black, they look like black, you see, all black, I'll get a fork, if it goes through with well, no problem, you don't want them too, too light, but if it goes through, that means they're done. So these are done already. So what you gotta do, really quick, you're gonna put the fire off, just because um, this is gonna be extremely hot. Especially when you take the skin out, it's gonna be extremely hot. So what happened is, it finished cooking. Like, literally, if you don't take them out, like right now, it will, it will be super soft because this right here is super hot. So I'm going to show you what I do when I take these out, okay? I'm going to drain the whole thing in there. Just like that. And you're going to see how the skin is going to come out. Okay, I got the cold water going that way. Okay? All right. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay? We still got, I got one minute. I got one minute left, okay, in my mollejitas. One minute. These are nice and cool, getting cool. Yeah, they're getting cool. Okay, so I got one minute in my mollejita. Once that thing is done, one minute, one minute, 45 minutes. Remember, 45 minutes. All right, so you can use a butter knife if you like. So what I do with this, once it's cooled down, cut them some, somewhere like this. It all depends how big you want them. About half an inch. Just like that. 
All right, so I already took the water and I drained it in one of these strainer. And I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit there. Before we do anything, we're gonna let this cool down. So meanwhile, we're gonna keep cutting these. All right, so I got chopped up onions. I got two white onions that I chopped up. So what I like to do first is I like to put some olives, oil, and olives. Olive, olive oil. There we go, olive oil. Yep. A bay leaf. Actually, I'm gonna put one, two, three. Vinegar. Wow. Onions. Put garlic powder. Put some salt. But I like to season it. Now, you could put the whole black pepper bowls. I don't like it. That's traditional, that's what they do. And then when you're eating them, you have to take them apart. I don't like it, so I do black pepper, just like this, and I ground it. A little more olive oil. Lemon juice, I put just a little bit. There we go. Mm, I could smell it from here. It smells so good. So now, guess what we're gonna add? We're gonna add the mollejita right there. I'm gonna put olive oil, black pepper again. Like I told you, so what about black pepper, oil, and vinegar? So, like I, I you say, I say, however you like it. I don't use that much salt. How beautiful this look. And you're gonna mix everything together. You're gonna let it cool down. Let me tell you something. If you think this is good now, tomorrow, this is gonna be better, way better. The longer you leave it in the refrigerator, the better it gets, because you get all that flavor, the marinade from the um, vinegar, the olive oil, the olives, the bay leaf, everything goes in a mix and it's beautiful. Amazing and it tastes awesome. So. I'm gonna put this baby in the refrigerator and I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm doing my uh, guinito in the caliche. Um, it's super easy. I hope you like this video. Um, please give me some thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, you like cooking, be my guest, watch my videos. And if you like them, subscribe. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for watching my videos. And also, I hope that you guys enjoy my mollejita, how I do them. And like I say, please subscribe, share, and like. Big shout out, big shout out to my nephew. Big shout out that it's his birthday. And happy birthday, Ezequiel. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday and God bless you. Thank you again for watching my videos and I'll see you next time.